The Story of Eklavya Nearly 5,000 years ago, in a kingdom called Hastinapura, lived Eklavya, the son of a tribal chief. Eklavya hoped to become a disciple of the great Dronacharya and reach Drona's Gurukul. Dronacharya, I am Eklavya, son of a tribal chief, said Eklavya. Please accept me as your disciple and teach me the wonderful art of archery. Drona refused to teach him. Archana, Drona's disciple, snapped at him. Dronacharya is a royal teacher appointed to train us, the princes of the kingdom. Leave. Eklavya was stunned at Arjuna's behavior and Drona's silence. He left with a broken heart but determined to learn archery. Eklavya took some mud from a river and made a statue of Drona. He then placed it in a clearing in the forest. Every morning, he would take his bow and arrow, worship the statue of Drona and practice. He soon became an extraordinary archer, superior even to Arjuna, Drona's best pupil. One day, while Eklavya was practicing, the continuous barking distracted him. He fired arrows into the dog's mouth, but without enduring it, the dog fled. In the very same area of the forest, Drona was training the Pandava princes. When he noticed the dog, he exclaimed, Such excellent aim can come only from a mighty archer. They began searching the forest for the archer and found him. Drona praised Eklavya and asked, From whom did you learn archery? You are my guru, Eklavya replied, bowing his head. How can I be your guru? Drona exclaimed in surprise. I made a statue of you and worship it every day. I practice before your image. Thanks to it, I have become a good archer, replied the boy. But you promised me that you had make me the best archer in the world. Arjuna accused Drona. Where is your Guru Dakshina? The sage demanded. I will offer anything, Eklavya said. I ask for the thumb on your right hand as Guru Dakshina. Dronacharya declared. Everyone was shocked. Without his thumb, Eklavya could never shoot arrows again. Without the slightest hesitation, Eklavya cut out his thumb and offered it to Drona. The gods blessed Eklavya from above. Eklavya continued to practice archery until he could shoot arrows with his index and middle finger and he became an even greater archer than he was before.